Hi everyone, so today we'll be working with the Spellbinders uh, large die of the month for November of 2023. It's called Towering Blooms. I showed all the different sets, um, other than the wax seals, I don't have that one quite yet, in a um, an unboxing video previously, so I'll link that video in the description box so you can check everything out. And um, today we're just going to get right to it. So these items were sent free of charge from my review, and of course all opinions are my own. And any links in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. You guys, another really awesome inventive card. Um, I had pointed out in the unboxing that you have these two large flowers that kind of sit like this on your card so that you can kind of, or maybe like this, um, <laughs> it depends on your card size. Um, they kind of like fit in there, right? And they kind of squeeze it in the corner of your cards. And you have the greenery, you have the little pot if you wanted them to come out of a pot, which we will do today. Or you can just use the greenery, you know, you have all these things. You have like this beautiful little flower that kind of nestles in here. You have um, some little kind of bell options and some, again, the greenery, the stems, um, all kinds of fun things. So I'm going to do is just grab some papers and actually as I was sitting here, you know, I'd love to use a card kit whenever I can. I will grab a card base from here. I will say that this, um, you know, I get samples, but the set on the carrier paper that it'll be on will have um, instruction for you to follow uh, to put the card front together. So we have the card, um, an A2 size card base. Uh, I suppose you can mat layer it in whatever other size if you want something larger. Uh, and then I have these things. Uh, you know, there's no green in here, but maybe we go with these, this beautiful, we do the blue also. But let's go with that guy. I don't know if there's only one kind of flower, so maybe, maybe we'll accent with this. And as far as the other accent colors, I'll just grab them from um, my stash. So for right now, uh, let me go ahead and grab that. Uh, let's see. Uh, maybe, no, nah, that's okay. Okay, I will grab some paper. I'll be right back. I will show you that your um, carrier will look something like this. It'll have this kind of instruction on it. So you have all the steps and they're showing what dies will cut what. So it's really, really nice. Um, so let's focus on... I guess you can cut all the greeny right now. I'll walk you through the steps they're showing there. So I have this piece cut down to four and eighths by five and three eighths. I thought it was a really fun, funky kind of green color that I have. You can definitely run this through an embossing folder. Fortunately, I just put lotion on my hands. I probably shouldn't have done that because <laughs> now I'm getting on there. But um, I just want the focus to be the flowers. I mean, they take up so much of the space anyhow. So I'm just going to leave that. Just a funky green color that I have in my stash there. Carefully place that. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to use this chamois to help me hold that down. I was going to say this might have ink on it, but you know, we should cover that. Okay. Here we go. There we go. Much better. All right, so we have that in place. I'll just leave that over there. And let's start with our larger flowers. My goodness. Yeah, that lotion was the worst idea. <laughs> it's not getting all over. All right, let's rub that in a little better. Um, so we need our flowers. So we have these two guys, you know, they're gonna be the same color. And then this little flower bud should be the same color. I mean, you can make the little, these guys the same color also, but I think I'm gonna accent them again with like some blue. So I'll just do those a different color. Try not to touch this too much, sorry. There we go. And then as far as my pot, we don't need it quite yet, but since I have my paper here for it, I'm just going to cut it out of a cream color. I was going to do black, make it really stark, but you know what, this is fine. And then, I mean, you want to run this through an embossing folder? You definitely can. Um, I think I'm just going to leave it like this today, but well, maybe we will. I don't know. I always like to add a little something extra, right? And... Ooh, you know what? I was going to say we can run it through the, like, um better press plate too that would be nice but I'll run this through and then I'll run it through this guy and um, and that will be that so I'll probably show you that once we get there because I know people like to see most of the steps here and then the greenery so this paper does have a little bit of texture I'm going to put it with the texture side up and the greenery for this one includes this guy and this is for the larger flowers but you can run it all through obviously we're going to use all the greenery well, it's, you know what, since I'm at it, I'm going to run it all through. We need this guy for our main, I'll just show you which ones are the main ones. Um, and then the little stem, and that's it for like the main flowers. And then for the extra greenery, you'll have these pieces and this guy. So if you want to make it a different green, the same green, you know, whatever. But um, I'm just going to run them all through this same green, okay? 
and let's focus on that for now. The center of um, our larger flowers is this guy right here, which I probably will run through some black paper just so it pops. I have a little strip of black here. Oh my goodness, there we go. <laughs> and then um, on this one, the, the center for the flowers is here also, so if you want to use the green or if you want to run through a different color, it's there. Okay. So of course I'll get this tighter together and tape them down so they don't move. And I'll wrap it. Whatever machine I use, I try to maximize the space so I just run everything through in as few passes as possible. So I have that. I ran you know the black center through with the beige paper at the same time, so I have that going. I have this. And then um, for our Embossing, of course, I need a larger machine, so I'll bring that out, but I'm going to take this little guy and just put it in here just so it has some little design, maybe just like a little bit of leaf, a little bit of the flowers on that one. It's cute. Let's go like there. I'll run that through and I'll be right back. And this is the standard embossing folder for this month, so there you go. That looks really pretty. Okay, so I'm glad we did that. A little extra something. And so what we can do, let's go ahead and put together some of our flowers. Um, under here, I just want to make sure everything comes out. We need those two little dots. We need this. And so one of my little dots fall out. Where's the other one? We'll find it. There it is. There's one. The other one's still in here. So let's just pop that out really carefully. And I think that's everybody. All right, and then this one already came out. We'll use this in a second. So for these guys, we have on the back of this, I'm just going to put a little glue and bring this guy out. And it just nestles right in there. I'm going to do some texture. You can definitely also put texture on the flower buds. Let's give her that little extra glue. And then these guys, we have these centers. I'm just going to put a little glue right in the center. And uh, let's see here. This guy's going to be something like this on our card. Oopsie. Oopsie. Let's move this here. And this one's kind of like this. Then our little flower centers can just, I don't think they really have to be a specific way, they're just flower centers. But it looks like the one that's a little bit larger, maybe this guy is over here. They're about the same size, but this one has like a little bit different look to it. There we go. And the center center, they do have a little mark. Excuse me, I was losing my voice there, but they do have a little mark on the um, cardstock that you can see. And I'll just pop one of these guys in there, so... One's a little more oblong, the other one's a little more round. Again, I don't think we have to be too picky on which one's which. So I'm just going to pop this one here. And sorry, this thing lost its stickiness. Okay. And... Like that one there. Okay. And those guys do have leaves that they're going to be placed on, so this guy right here can be on the little leaf that's just, or the stem, should I say, it's not really a leaf. And I want to make sure I'm doing, okay. So I'll put a little glue in the very center and then kind of down here. And it kind of goes in this middle area, kind of coming out on this petal here. Of course, you can do however you like. Okay, and then this one um, is on this guy, and I feel like we're just going to stick that one down like here. So the other one I went all the way to the center, it's possible we need it to be a little bit longer, but that's okay. We will make it work either way. So if this guy's here, it's kind of curved in there. Okay. Now they're putting the flowers together first and then assembling it as your bouquet, so that's kind of why I'm eyeballing things. But if you want to have everything cut and kind of play out what it looks like, 
you can definitely do that, but for right now I can also just bring this over here and say, well, if this is here, and then this one is here. Yeah, that's where I was kind of concerned if my pot's going to make it. Let's see. Possibly not, so why have, now this is still a little bit wet, right? Right? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to bring it down. Sorry, guys. So not in the very center, but just bring it down towards the petal. That way it can make it to the pot, right? That's what we're going to want. And again, you can kind of play that out as you're putting it together. Just kind of see what you're doing here. And, you know, it's something like that. Ah, let's just, for now, just staging that. Okay. Um, and then we have our pot. Of course, we're going to make it so it enters the pot a little bit more. And what else do we got? Um, let's see here. We have this pretty guy that's going to go into the pot and then just back out, like in here, you know, as it goes in here, kind of thing. And what else do we have? Okay, so we can do our little bells, I suppose. We have the extra greenery that we already have cut that's going to tuck wherever you want to place it, wherever it helps you kind of maybe <laughs> cover up the stems if they're not quite going into the pot, right? So we'll have that in just a second. And so we need this guy with our um, little bells here. So what happens with these guys is you have these dies. And this is going to be the one on top, and this is what's going to show through. So I'm going to run this through, and I'm going to have that blue. And then for this to pop, maybe we'll do like gold centers, or maybe the cream color. Mm. Let's do gold. So I'll run this through gold paper, okay? And I'll bring it back. Again, everything cut pretty much at the same time. And with these guys, all we're going to do is take one of these and place it over the top of the gold. Okay, so our little gold is sticking out in the back. And I'll do them all the same way. I'm putting this together. I do want to point out that there are two, I think, that are larger than other ones. So, like, these two have larger gold backgrounds or whatever your background is. So, just make sure you're lining those up together. And then the other four are smaller. Okay? So I'll be back. Bring this back. And, like I said, there are two larger ones. Sorry. That's these, this one and this one. So, when I go to put these down, I can put these two. And it was these big guys. And they definitely have a shape, like it's a little pointier at the base than it is at the top of the little bud berry, however. And then the other ones, I'll just glue them on. Okay, and I'll be right back. Okay, so, the other thing we can do is cut out, you know, we has, um, we has, <laughs> it has sentiments, we have sentiments. Um, but I cut out a ton of sentiments the other day um, with the glimmer of the month so I'm just gonna use that but of course if you have this and that's what you signed up for you can definitely put your words on there but you know I have like thinking of you you know feel better soon so, yeah, I, have, so I have all kinds of nice things that we can use there okay we have our little flowers that we just put together and then you know the next step it does say to do your vase what I'm going to do with the vase is I think I'm going to stick it down with dimensionals and then we can come in and do all this other stuff right so I'm just gonna center it here and just place the dimensional down at the bottom and then maybe two on the side that are a little kind of out of the way so hopefully when we come in with our flowers we're not it's not impeding anything so like out here and out here and hopefully that works out and then we'll just kind of tuck things in as needed so I'll put this here that looks about center and right at the bottom of my card and of course I have a matte layer so I'm paying attention to that um, these guys, there's lots of things that we can do to make it look more dimensional and then flat. So if we want to do something like that, we can maybe pop this guy up on a dimensional. And then maybe support this other one. And then the rest of them can be stuck down. And say something like that. Maybe that guy needs support also. And then the other ones can be stuck down. So let's just take this off does add a little bit of a challenge because um, that's going to want to stick immediately but what we can do you can also put some dimensional on the leaf about that to do its own thing you know however okay so some glue 
I'm going to hold this as well as I can before I really push it, push it down. And kind of what I'm looking at is the flower, how it lines up in this corner over here, right? And I'm not super concerned that my little leaf kind of goes out, my stem, because we're going to cover that with this guy anyway for the most part. So, you know, maybe it went in the pot, maybe it didn't. <laughs> but either way, so those are there. This can be glued down. Again, do you want to put some dimensional there? You can definitely play with different dimensionals you might have in your stash. That way you have some that are higher, some that are lower. Like I know I have these guys that are a little bit lower profile. So maybe I'll put some of those here. Maybe another one at the tip to support that. And then everything else can just be glued down. So I'm going to take these off. Sorry, I know that's like watching paint dry. Glue, glue, glue. Really holding on to that before I bring it in. Ah, oh yeah, there we go. Okay. So something like that. A little leaf that's up. These are down. This guy needs a little bit of support. So again, maybe a higher profile or a couple of them stuck together if we're going to do it that way. Oh, this one I think it'll work. I might have to trim that down a little bit just to help me support this guy. Perfect. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Um, again, just playing with different dimensionals of different heights. That worked out really well. And then over here we have this guy. I mean, he can be completely flat, or he can also have some dimension. I think I'm going to leave it completely flat. Some glue back here. This corner. And again, that guy's going to want to stick out of my pot. But again, next time we know plan that a little better so that you can see exactly where your leaves are going and put one back there and then like one here and then like one here okay that's pretty all right so that's what I'll do <laughs> like the way that looks and I really do like exactly where this is but that's okay I'll remember And then these guys, again, we can play with some dimensionals, maybe. So on the back of this, before I stick them down, let me go ahead and pop some dimensionals on here, and I'll be right back. Right there, so I should have taken the carriers off. That was the whole point of pausing, wasn't it? Uh, okay. Anyhow, so we have that, that, this, and this. Little glue, 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 glue. And place those there. Dimensional, dimensional, dimensional. Glue down, glue down. Okay, and then our last leaf that's very pretty here. That's so pretty. So we have that there. And then again, maybe a supporting dimensional. Back in here, I don't know if it needs it. Or if you even can get it in there. Uh, there we go. Okay, I'm going to hold everything down. And then, I mean, look at that, guys. So pretty. Quickly done. Um, again, we have lots of, you know, always, well, the other ones always and forever. Just saying hello. Oh, maybe something like that. Okay, I'm going to put some glue on this, some dimensional on this, and then just stick it down, guys. So dimensionals on the back of this that are the same height as this guy, glue on this area, and have that down. And there you are. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you so much, Spellbinders, for sending these items for review. I, I just love this kind of thing. It's really lovely, put together pretty quickly, and um, 
All right, guys, I will see you at the next one. Images coming up, and the links are in the description box there for the different clubs, and I'll see you all at the next one. <laughs> Bye now.